Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is ICT and TV, and I am Christian Rosabia. Today, I will discuss more on the importance of how to present screen if the teacher is discussing and when to present the screen when the student will be able to present such as his or her report, um, any other um, presentation that the teacher requires uh, the student to do. At uh, this time, uh, please have a good time listening and watching before anything else. Uh, allow me to uh, give thanks to the suggestion to Mr. John Lexter Laiese Cortes of Ciboros Book Memorial College as an English teacher uh, for he recommended me. Uh, he said to me that uh, I should have to do this uh, for his students uh, and able for them to know the, the importance of the online distance learning using the different applications, especially the Google Meet. Um, and this will also help them a lot. So this time uh, we will now jump into how to use the percent screen. Okay. So in this way, uh, this account this account is for the student this account and this account is for the teacher so i am the teacher right now so i'll be sending the link to the students or the code but this time i'll be making a new code because i am the teacher uh, okay so if i am now the teacher i have to to click join now how am i going to know about the code so i could see the code here i could copy and i can also see the meeting code here so there are many ways to see the meeting code and that time I'll be going to send it to my student and since my students know already the code so I have to click the I have to enter the code and click join I am the student here so this time if I am the student I'll be asking to join and the teacher will admit so the teacher will admit, admit. so once so the once teacher so I have to so have mute, to mute. So once, so once the teacher, the teacher already admitted the student, then that's the best way uh, for a certain teacher to present his or her discussion, PowerPoint, um, video tab uh, using the, the video, the audio, and other. Uh, this time the student was just a, a mere listener, and if the teacher will let the student do the present the presenting the screen then they will have to but this time if i am the teacher this i am the teacher i am the teacher i will present so i will have to click what are the difference between these three present screen tabs we have an entire screen whatever you will do it will be seen by the students because you use the entire screen a specific window is if the teacher will only focus on the the powerpoint presentation or a specific video or a specific um, uh, any other documents I uh, wanted to present then this is the, the best way to use a window a Chrome tab is the best way also for the video and animation because if you will use a window for a video the students cannot hear any of the sounds but this time in a Chrome tab the teacher uh, and the, uh, the, the students also will also hear the, the video the audio coming from the YouTube if he or she is using a, a YouTube tab or either a and downloaded a video already in his or her PC and this time uh, we will you will choose a window because I will only focus on the power presentation so if I, if I am the teacher so I have to this is the PowerPoint so share so that the the student right now the student this is now the student account will only see the powerpoint of the teacher now what will happen if the the student will present his screen while the teacher is discussing so therefore the teacher will be disrupted the teacher will be lost on his or her presentation because the student has already uh, presented the screen so for example if i am the student right now i will have to present i have to share it now and this time i will also click 
for example. So therefore, the teacher will also will be disturbed, disturbed, and he or she will not be going to see. Uh, the teacher will not be going to, to let the student see what his what he or she is presenting because the student already presented. The purpose why the student will have to present, especially when he or she has to report, uh, present something in a very important topic uh, that the teacher uh, assigned to him or her. That's the best way that the student will use the present screen. If not, do not use it unless you are told to do so. So this time, that's the very importance of the, the having the present screen for the student using the Google Meet. Now, if you will see, if I have a check, it is an additional description right now. If you, if, if I am the teacher, if you want to know how to check the attendance of students of when or uh, when and what time did he or she attend the class, leave the class, or rejoin the class, you will also see it. I will put the, the link of my blog on the, on the description below. So that's all. So I hope you enjoy and understand the, the way on how to the importance of presenting screen to the students and the students also the importance of presenting screen when you are about to report, to do the report uh, to your teachers. So have a good day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.